Okay, uh, good morning, viewers. My name is Mkodi Singube. Uh, today, we have a very special guest on our program. Uh, our guest, who also happens to be the first one on our hot seat interview, is Mr. Israel Mta of the King Lopengula Foundation. Uh, there are a number of questions that many of you want to know, especially as the revival of the kingdom uh, is concerned. And we hope that this interview will leave many of you with answers uh, or with follow-up questions that will hopefully be able to invite uh, our honorable guest to respond to next time. Welcome to the program, my leader. Uh, uh, I'm very happy and honored to be here, Mr. Paulus Inoube. And I hope the information that I will give the, our listeners will be quite very will quite clear some few things that uh, because I understand that uh, the the people on the outside they put questions and they don't have answers. So I'm happy that uh, if we, I will be able to clear those questions for them. Okay. Uh, as a start, may you introduce yourself? I only know you as Israel Mja. I don't know any titles that are related to that or which are supposed to be used as a prefix. You forgive me for that. No, no, no. And then My also name. your connection with the King Lopengula Foundation. My name is Sizun Da. That's my name. And that's the name that I picked it up on Adventures and the thing that I'm, 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 I'm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. There was a bit of okay, because, internet problem. Okay. Basically, I'm happy that you we started this conversation right now because at this present moment, I'm at a, at a point where um, I'm trying to establish the, 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 the kingdom or reunite the people of, of the Bele people. So on the 10th of September, which is the month of, uh, which is the heritage month here in, in Grahamstown, I mean in South Africa. So basically we're planning to, to, to bring the, 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 the children, all the children of, of uh, Rhodes and Jobe who were born here in the Eastern Cape. I'm sure we all know who is Rhodes and Jobe. Rhodes and Jobe is the son of Jobe, uh, Alban Jobe, who was, brought here by Cecil John Rhodes. So basically me, I'm running the, 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 the foundation, the King Lobemula Foundation to capture that, that legacy, the Lobemula legacy. So on the 10th of September, we are having that, 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 uh, that uh, unity, that, 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 that uh, celebration basically. In fact, I've invited even the, the, the Highlanders to come and be part of this program because uh, as we understand, Rhodes Lobengula was actually the founder of uh, Highlanders Football Club. So we we'll ask them that uh, they should also participate on this program, which will be running from the 1st of September till the 30th of September. So basically the whole month of September, we're going to be having cultural activities. But uh, the 10th of September has been set aside for the commemoration of Musilikazi, uh, uh, the commemoration for the Musilikazi. So we're hoping that the, that, uh, the Highlanders and all the Ndebele people will actually come and meet the family. Because most of the people, they don't know that there's a, that there's a descendants of Lobiangula based here in Grahamstown. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I think we we would, for the in the interest of time, need to uh, then come back here on the specifically on the celebration. Uh, yeah. Now, before we talk about the celebration, which I would request that we shall you've announced the date, but I think we, we would not be doing justice to East if we just mention it and then we move on. I believe that it deserves a program on its own which uh, will be dedicated to it. But before we uh, get there, would I request that maybe let's respond to certain questions, clear certain issues, so that when we then talk about the, the, the celebration at a later point, people would be thinking from the same level of thinking. I don't know, is it okay with you? Okay, it's fine. Let me give you this understanding. What happened first is uh, 
after the war, yes. 1893 war, yes. the children were eligible to be the king, who to, to take over the kingdom, were separated from from the from the tribe. Yes. Of the Liberia tribe. So what Cecil John Rhodes did actually, he took them to Cape Colony. That time South Africa, Cape Town, the Western Cape used to be known as Cape Colony. So in with a pretense that they were gonna be educated. Yes. So they were brought here, the three of them, which was Benzeni, Njume, and Bobenja. But uh, the two actually were, were sent back, and then after they are educated, after they were educated, and then Zobe, because he was the one who was contesting the, 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 the kingdom, was actually left, was not allowed to go back. So he eventually got married, and then he had uh, two, two boys, which was uh, Rhodes and Zobe. Yes. So, so his son was actually named Zobe. So uh, he passed away in 1910, and uh, Rhodes, his son, who is the who is the who is my grandfather, basically, he Rhodes Zobe Lobemula Kalobemula had five children. Yes. Four he had uh, four girls and uh, one boy in between. So the boy was actually in between. There were two girls in front of him, and the boy and. My mother, my mother is the fourth one. He follows uh, Fana, Fana, Fana he, So all five, all five of them are passed away, passed away. In fact, my mother was the last one to pass away in 2019 on her way to Grahamstown. The reason that she was coming to Grahamstown because uh, the graves of uh, Jove and Rhodes Lopezola are actually uh, here in, in here in, in, in Pandakam. Hence, uh, I was inviting her to come to be the, the, to be the, 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 the actual person behind the, the graves. But uh, untimely, she I mean she I mean she actually got uh, sick and then she passed on on the on, on last on the 20, 2019. But uh, on on her passing, she 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 had uh, her dream of actually making sure that uh, the, the legacy of loving Ula that doesn't vanish into thin air. So she asked me to actually pursue the, 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 this uh, this uh, this search for for the truth because for us as children who were born here, we never given the, the the actual true story. Even my mother had bits and pieces of, of stories and, and some few photos. So I had to come here and put together things together and, and, and do some research and to see um, what is the real, to separate the truth from, from what we've been told as a lie. So that's what I've been doing for the past 10 years. The foundation was founded in, 19, in 2010. So in 2010, that's what I've been doing since then. And then I've published some articles. I've, I've even started a Facebook page. The Facebook page is called the Guandanama Heritage. So you can go there to Guandanama Heritage and then you see all the progress that I've, I've been doing. I've also got another page, King Lobengula Lodges and Tours, which is another page. So, but it, both of them, they deal with the same things, but uh, in different ways. And then I've got a website. I'm also a designer. I've designed my own website. I've got um, uh, the King Lobe Mula Foundation. But right now it's, it's down. I haven't uh, I mean, paid the, 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 the service provider. So I still need to pay the service provider myself, my IT, my, my ISP for, for the reconnection, but the, the, the website is there, it's, 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 it's active, I designed it myself, I did my, but basically what the, the real, the reason for the website and all this is to actually capture the whole history of the Mula, how they came to be here and who is now and what happened when they got here and who is actually left now 
behind after they are dead. Because we know it's over 100 years that they've been here now. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, just before yeah. you go ahead, um, are you in touch with the other members of the Lopemula family who are besides your, your mother's family? Are you in touch with these other ones that you are saying that you, you want to bring in? Have you been in touch with them in terms of uh, the foundation work? Have you... Maybe yeah. organize the uh, family structure that is there. Let, 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 let me tell you, so our family is, is is divided into five houses yes. since uh, since Rose had five children. Yes. yes. So we've got uh, the, the only remaining houses now are four houses. One is in is in here in Grimstown. One is in, in which is represents my family on my side, and then there's uh, one that represents Mulelani, and then there's one that represents uh, the people, I mean, not Mulelani, the, there's one that, yeah, the, the family of Fana, from the Fana of the side, and then we've got the one that represents uh, the people in PE, and then we've got one in Lesotho, so basically there are four houses. So with those four houses, and then there's Amanda, and then, um, yeah, that Amanda and yeah and Mulelani, but uh, we've got five houses in 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 in, in, uh, in all. So I've been trying to get hold of. I'm in contact with the Lesotho people. I'm in contact with the people in PE. I had the 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 the, the in, in cell number of uh, Mulelani, and uh, I've sent him messages before, but. Uh, but I lost my phone and then I lost his contact. But uh, in the previous, like, previous years, I, I used to contact him and, 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 and update him about what is happening. I even invited him last year because I was hoping that last year we are going to have a, 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 a get-together, a family get-together. Hence, I'm planning it this year, and I'm very, I'm happy that we're having this meeting. I'll be happy that he will see this video, and that he will, because it seems like that the, 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 there's a, an idea or a, a, an attitude that has been moving around the vaccine. The Lobin, well, the King Lobin Law Foundation is separated from Mulelani or other uh, other members. That is not so, and I want to make it clear that is not so. The King Lobin Law Foundation was established entirely to represent all the family. The reason that is called King Lobengula Foundation is because we take, we trace our roots from King Lobengula. Right now, we haven't established who's going to be the king or who's supposed to take over. So, hence, if people want to think, why is he calling Bulelani by his name? Because I understand that some people, they they, they put such as some so, so some prefix before, so I do not know, understand, I do not know that, that I'm not going to talk about something. Me, the last time I saw Wulelani was in 2014, when I invited him here and the, the, the other Kumalo families to come to see the graves of Wulelani. That was the last time I spoke to him and uh, begged uh, and helped. So ever since then, 2014, I never see him again. And uh, I tried to, over the years, I've tried to WhatsApp him, send messages to him, but I never got any reply for him. But I could see that he does read my messages, but I never got any reply. Why? I do not know. I'm not going to speculate on that. But what is important is that I want to, 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 to emphasize that the Lebengula family and the children of Lebengula, they are intact and we are united together. There is no division between who is in Lesotho, who is in Joburg, who is in Cape Town, or where the children of Rose Lomola are, are, are united. And what we want to see is that, uh, that the, the people of, of Lebele, the Lebele people are united because through us, because of this. So hence I've been trying all these days to bring people to, to, to Grahamstown to actually to meet the family. And then we can take it from there. We cannot establish kingdom without actually going back to the roots because we, if we want to establish the kingdom of the world, we need to start where it begins, where it stops. So 
the graves, the ancestors, our ancestors are here in Frenchtown. I clean those graves every day. My grandfather is there, Jobe is there, Nombina is there. I have to go there every day because that place where they are now, it's, it's not a, a, a community that is, is looking after them. So they just don't even know the history. So hence on September, I'm actually having this event to actually portray and or, or, or tell the story behind the, 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 the Lodeng Latestan. And the, some of the people, some of them, they think we are foreigners. They, because they think the is, is, is a foreigner. I've told them that we trace our, our roots from KZN. And that's where we come from. We are from, and we are, I mean, there's no difference between the, the Zulu people, the Tosa people, and the Swati people, because we all come from the same tribe. So that is what, that is what I want to trace, I mean, to, 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 to emphasize in September when people are here that they should understand and treat the Debele people as people of South Africa and not foreigners. We are not foreigners in this land. Hence, I'm very happy that everybody will participate in this event on, on the 10th of September 2022. We're having this day. I want Zimbabwe people and Debele people all over to come dance here and, and to make this place small, basically with all cultural activities that could be fun. So what I've done is I've established a cultural village here. So within this cultural village, there's a house where the Lobengula family used to live. So that's where I'm staying right now. And I've changed that house into a museum. So basically, I want people to, to, to come and to come and, and bring the, 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 you know, the, 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 the belly culture here so that people can understand and learn the, the belly culture because people here, the Tosa people here, they seem like misguided or misinformed about how they, they, they think when you, when you talk about Zimbabwe people and the belly people, they think it's just like you're talking about someone from far away, but, but actually we are from here. So basically, the foundation is is for that is was established for that reason to safeguard the like the legacy of the of King Lobengula Foundation. Who who is the son of King Zulika, the founder of the Caesar's Comptagas? What we want to make sure that the Caesar's Comptagas is united and in solidarity, stand in solidarity from now and moving forward. Okay, uh, you've already is mentioned the, the idea of uniting not only the family of King Lopengula, but also uh, the developed people oh. that his father Mzilika has established as a nation in Zimbabwe now. Uh, I hope already, as you have said, you know of the attempts to revive the kingdom. They call it restoration in Zimbabwe. To revive the kingdom, which you've already spoken to. Uh, but you say that the family has not yet decided on who should assume the throne, who should assume the throne after the demise of uh, the last king, who is King Lopengula. Now, to you as a family, you've said that you've said that you you've been having problems trying to reach out to Buleland, who the Ndebeles, or let me say a section of the Ndebeles in Zimbabwe, especially those who are based in South Africa, have somehow chosen to be their king. Do you have, as a family, do you have maybe a family leader, a leader of the family, or a council that looks after the interests of the family, which can then determine that this is the person that we are choosing to take over the throne? It is the reason that we called we are calling the people to come here, the family and the traditional people to come together to meet. So hence I'm saying that it is very imperative that the traditional people of Zimbabwe that are in Zimbabwe and those that are based in Joburg, they should come all here so that to meet the family and with the family, then we can decide who they want. I'm not disputing if they if 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 Bulelani becomes a king or wherever they choose, I do not have a problem with that. Me, my problem is to make sure that the history that was destroyed by Cecil John Rhodes is rewritten correctly 
what actually so that people can understand what actually happened from 1893 up to this point who they choose to be to be their king that is not my problem me i'm making sure that the people who are here in in, in the eastern cape the descendants of Rhodes, particularly the descendants because we understand the lobengula family is quite huge but specifically the Rhodes descendants who are left here because we understand that Rhodes is the one who was supposed to 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 take over the throne and is the only one who was not allowed to go back during that time so the traditional people should come because the bones of the one person that we're going to take over are lying here. You cannot choose king, a king who doesn't even know where the bones are of his, of his ancestors. That is my problem. That is why I was there. And that is why the, 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 the thing, the, the, whatever they were doing there in Zimbabwe was, didn't succeed because a cultural, if you're doing is cultural things, you have to follow the right procedure, the right steps on how to do this thing. You cannot put someone as a king who, without even setting foot on the grounds, on the person that is, is taking the leadership from. Two king Jobe Rhodes is, is, is lying here. Jobe is lying here. The queen, 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 queen uh, is, is lying here. All these people are lying, and none of them, the very people, have ever set foot. How do you then put a king there without even, then not even knowing where are the graves of these people? That, that that's why it hasn't been successful, and it will never be successful. I told them many a times again that if we want to do this thing, we have to do it properly with the family and the traditional elites. Simple and straightforward. And now they come and say, me, I want to be a king. I don't want to be a king. I never said I wanted to be. What I wanted is to make sure that the, the king, the, the, because my mother died crying, saying, Caesar, well, we died poor. We had nothing. Even the people before us, they died poor. Even the family in, in the Soto, they were crying because they died so poor. Even at today, we're still suffering. We're still poor. As none, my sisters of Jobek are crying in PE, Zoliso and other family members are crying. They are hoping that something will, will come through out of all this King Lobengula Foundation. That is the only thing. That is my purpose to make sure that the children that are here are recognized as royal and they are well taken care of because. Their parents before them, they cried, they, 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 they died fighting to go back home because here they were suffering. Poverty was, was just the, 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 the story of the day. And it's the same thing that is still happening. Three generations in poverty. That cannot be allowed. Hence, we're saying we need to, 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 to make sure that we appease the spirits of the, of, of, of the dead people because the basically that is what the, the foundation is all about to bring the people the family and the people of zimbabwe together and finding a, solutions for our country because we understand that if this concept is or is, is done properly yes. all the hurdles that we are having we, 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 even the South African government will support us. Even the traditional leaders here will support us. Even the, 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 the government of Zimbabwe will not have any reason not to support us or support us because they can see what this thing is, is done properly. The whole family, everybody is included. It's a cultural thing. It's not an, an individual thing or somebody's thing, but it's a cultural thing trying to restore our nation trying to destroy, I mean, trying to restore the, 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 the scissors come talk us. That is it. what the, the, the legal of music has, simple and straightforward. Okay, and how connected are you to the people of Zimbabwe, if especially the people of Mkwagazi generally and other descendants of uh, King Mziligas who are in Zimbabwe? I think you, you, you've heard stories that there is even some more people coming up to claim that they, they are the kings and there are others who are saying they don't want to be kings because they know and they accept that uh, 
the, the scepter, should I say, was left in the hands of King Lopengula, and whoever assumes that kingdom should come from the house of Lopengula. But now they are also questioning the, the procedure that was taken. They are questioning the lack of consultation, as you also put it. So how connected me, are you with them? Let, let me tell you this. If we decide to choose Bulelan, or we choose Bulelan, I'm not disputing that. I'm fine with him. I don't have a problem with him. I mean, I grew up with him. So let me tell you this. If he comes here and, and partner with me and do this thing, trust me, nobody will stand in front of us. Whoever is claiming whatever will stand nothing. So I, that's why I'm begging that Bulelan will come here so that we can, so that we can fix this once and for all. Any other person who's claiming whatever, I'm not going to be talking about that. Those are the people I'm not interested in talking about, just trying to, to destroy what we're doing. But we, as the, 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 the royal family, we are, have the legal rights in any other way, me and Bulelane. So if Bulelane can just come here and be here in September and make sure that we take him back, we all go back as a family to Zimbabwe. Nobody's going to stop us in those borders. Trust me. Okay. Uh, I think I think that one is already clear. So you are saying that there is no other claimant. There is no other. And you're not questioning no. why people arrived at Bulilano. We're only questioning the procedure also. The and procedure, you... that is my problem. Oh, okay. How it uh, was done. Okay, okay. I think that one is clear. And other than the two of you, is there anyone else who is there who is maybe a, a, a man that you know about in the royal family that is there here in South Africa, should I say? Right at the present moment, I do not know anyone. Okay. Because there are, claims not, that Bulelani, there are claims that Bulelani has got an elder brother or a younger brother. Is it true? He has, he has a letter who, who for some has got an older brother who assumes. I don't know where he's he was. The last time I heard he was in PE. I don't know he was a he's a soldier. He is a quiet man. It is his distance. He, he doesn't socialize too much. So in family things, I, do, I, I don't usually see him. I haven't seen him for a long time. But he's still alive. That's one thing I know. He had another brother, Lindy. Lindy passed away some time back. But... Um, on those notes, hence I was saying, Uti, Ubule Lani, he needs, if he would decide to, to, to put him, install him as a king, he needs our support and our yes. blessing for that, for the whole coronation to be successful. Otherwise, without that, because me, I trust, and I'm sure if you can even consult the, 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 the traditional people, or I'm a Inyang, or I'm a you ask them, they will tell you the procedure was not correct. Okay. Hence, the whole thing was not successful. It's not a problem of Shangarai or whatever. That's not a, the problem that the, 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 the procedure was not followed properly. Some people tried to, 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 to sabotage or to, to, to hijack the whole thing for their own interest. Hence, it didn't work out. And it will never work. If they're going to continue with that, let me tell you this, the, 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 the kingdom will never rise again. Okay. They uh, can continue with their fighting, they do all the fighting, trying to claim it is not a claim. It's the legal and the rightful children to take over the, the throne and the descendants of those loving women. Whom we choose, it will depend between us, the family, and the traditional leader. 